Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Benevento. Now in the last episode we played Dynamo Kiev in the Champions League and in today's episode we've got our final group game against Liverpool. So obviously when we last met it was a 3-1 victory against Dynamo Kiev. We followed that up in Syria where our form has really improved. We beat Verona away from home, a hat-trick from Sheriff Ahmed getting himself in the goals which I really need this guy to start performing better throughout the season. We then had a home tie against Torino and we made it back-to-back -back victories. A 3-2 win, a goal for Sheriff Ahmed, one for Felix Udekai and an own goal from Kevin Bonifazi gave us the victory. They did claw two back through Alfredo Morelles. Uh, in the 74th minute he got his second goal and I was quite nervous at that point. But we managed to hold on and we got the three points. And then absolute disaster in the Champions League. If we were going to qualify for the Europa League, we really needed to beat Dynamo Kiev away from home and we got absolutely stuffed. We got beat 4-0. This probably means it's the end of our European competition this season. Um, but some interesting things did happen in the group, so we were not out of it yet. We then went away to Sampdoria in Syria and absolutely smashed them. We won 2-0. Two goals from Ibrahim Fathi, making it three games on the bounce that we have won now in Syria. So we're forming the league has really turned around. We then had a home tie against Spal. We dominated the match, but we only managed to win 1-0. A goal through Francisco Trincao in the 32nd minute. It was an edgy last 10 or so. They did come back into the game into the second half, but we didn't really look like we were going to concede. And if we took a couple of more of our chances, this game would have been a lot more comfortable. And this was the interesting tie. We went to Barcelona. We stayed at home against Barcelona in the Champions League, and we drew 1-1. Francisco Trincao getting us a 91st minute equaliser. Which means we're not quite out of the Champions... Well, we are out of the Champions League. Are we out of the Champions League? Well, well we're not out of the Europa League running. We then had an away tie against Sassuolo, which we drew a 3-3. It was a really, really good comeback because we were 3-0 down at one point. 20, 22 minutes in, we were 3-0 down. We got one back from uh, Sheriff Ahmed in the 32nd and Ibrahim Fathi made a 3-2 just before half-time. Fathi had missed a penalty before half-time as well, which led to a moment of really disappointing average rating and Massimo Corda came on the 65th um, to get another goal and give us the draw away from home which was really pleasing because Sassuolo are flying quite high in the league and Atlanta who are top of the league gave us our first defeat in quite a while in the league beating us 4-3 were they 4-0 up? no they were 4-1 up at one point we managed to claw away back to 4-3 but we couldn't find the last goal to give us a point but if you, we'll take a look at the table in a minute and Atlanta are top of it. So this is how the Serie A table looks after all of them games have been played. We are in fifth position, four points off fourth position, but we do have a game in hand over Lazio in fourth. But as you can see, Atlanta top of the league, Juventus second, Sassuolo third. So them last two results taken in that context are not too bad. But on 22 points, we're not very far off from 11th position. We're only three points clear from Inter Milan in 11th. So... A couple, of bad, a couple of bad results could see us really fall down the leg, so we really need to keep the momentum going and try and put them last two results behind us. And in the Champions League, this is how the, the group looks now. We can't go above Dynamo Kiev on head-to-head, -head, unfortunately, so all we can do is finish third against Liverpool. Unfortunately, we have to go to Anfield and we'll have to beat them if we are to finish third. So we are at match day against Liverpool and this is how our team will line up. Vid Belic in goal, David Carmona... Felix Udekai, Luca Antia and Aaron as our defensive options. Kevin Enderam will start in defensive midfield with Jairo on the right, Alberto Grassi in the centre and Francisco Trincao on the left. Sheriff Ahmed and Ibrahim Fathi will be our two strikers for today's game. And yeah, we're going away to Anfield and we need a win. Very attacking formation from them, 4-5-1. You see Trent Alexander-Arnold will be pushing up compared to Joe Gomez on the left-hand side. So we might try and exploit the left flank maybe. A pretty standard team from Liverpool, Moranchuk and Bernard, um, obviously not there at the start of the game, neither is Rodri, I'm not sure if Rodri's there at the start of the game, no he's not, Jordan Moore really in goal as well, so some changes for the Liverpool side compared to what starts the game, but this is going to be a very difficult match, you know, we've been smashed away from home against Barcelona and Dynamo Kiev, so if we are to get anything from this game it will be a really big achievement, and if we are to win this game... It'll probably be the biggest achievement of the season. So we'll kick off. We are shooting from right to left in this first half. We'll keep an eye on the Dynamo Kiev Barcelona score because that is interesting how well Dynamo Kiev have done in this group. 
obviously taking Liverpool back to their stadium and getting the three points is a really big result for them. Oh, highlights. Moranchuk just took a free kick and Belic did really well to keep that out. Sheriff Ahmed beats his man. He finds Fathy in the box and we break away from there. Free kick and we have just counted them to death and we've got ourselves in the lead. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting the highlight just to fizzle out into nothing. But Sheriff Ahmed, some great pace there to beat his man. Who's that, Joe Gomez? And he finds Ibrahim Fathy in the box with a cool, calm, collected finish. Our Egyptian strikers combine, giving us the 1-0 lead. Eight minutes in now, another highlight. We do have the ball at the minute, but they are pressing us. Trincao down this left-hand side tries to get the ball in. Rodrigo clears, and now Liverpool can probably break with Mohamed Salah. Bobby Firmino beats a couple of men, tries to find Salah, but will manage to get a clear. Falls to Joe Gomez, who will start the attack again for Liverpool. Naby Keita now in the centre to Emre Chan. There's a lot of space on this right-hand side for Trent Alexander-Arnold. He gets the ball in. Can we get rid? No, Mohamed Salah. Joe Gomez, why was he up there? But that was very, very close. Ibrahim Fathy's just scored again. I'm trying to take a drink. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. It was just a big kick up from Belich. Um, I'm not even sure who headed it down. I think Sheriff Ahmed challenged for it at the very least. But Ibrahim Fathy's just got his second goal. What actually happens here? So Sheriff Ahmed gets challenged by Lovren, but it falls really kindly to Fathy. And just on the edge of the box, that's a great strike. And now we're 2 0 up. Oh yeah, man, I would like to drink me coffee. It's getting called Bernard now on this left-hand side. Tries to play the ball in, but comes to Emre Chan on the outside. Mohamed Salah now in the box. Back to Emre Chan. Takes a strike and he misses again. This game has just been non-stop highlight. We're only 13 minutes in. There's already been five or six highlights. Fathy's through again. Oh, he hits the post. He could have had his hat-trick. We had a five-minute break before the next highlight. Roberto Firmino in the box. An excellent challenge. Please don't say that was a penalty. It's not. Joe Gomez now to Emre Chan to Maranchuk. A lot of space on this right-hand side for Alexander-Arnold, but they can't find them. We're defending super well today. Fathy, can we break now? Sheriff Ahmed down this right-hand side. He's got gyro overlapping. Can he get the ball in? Oh, good save from Rully. Joe Gomez now down this left-hand side. 26 minutes in, and this is like the 7th or 8th highlight already. Roberto Firmino, back to Mohamed Salah, back to Moranchuk. Can we limit them to shots on the edge of the area? Bernard's got the beating of his man there. And Roberto Firmino, why? How has he missed that? They are missing some gilt-edged opportunities here. Another highlight, Roberto Firmino again to Joe Gomez. We're defending so well. I'm really proud of the boys here. Even if we collapse, which I've got a feeling we might do in the second half. The, the first half defensive display has been excellent. Ibrahim Fathy to Trincao. Kevin Enderham now in a bit of space. Fathy plays it through for Sheriff Ahmed. Oh, we cannot say we've had opportunities as well, you know. We could have been 3 or 4 nil up here. But we also could be 4-2 down as well. Excellent play by Kevin Enderham. Wins the ball back in the centre of the park. The ball finds its way to Ibrahim Fathy. And now at Sheriff Ahmed. Gyro. Oh, he's hit the bottom cow. And he makes it 3-0. Three, 3-0 three three nil away from home against Liverpool. Make no mistake about it. This 3-0 is completely undeserved. But we've attacked, we've attacked with some... like We're really clinical in the attack in this game. And we've been unfortunate not to score as many as we have. We have been incredibly fortunate... To have had a clean sheet for this long, but 3 0 up, boys. And if we keep it going like this, we're actually going to be in European competition in the second half of the season, which would just be amazing. And that's it, half time 3 3 0. Dynamo Kiva holding Barcelona in the other game. Really happy with the boys so far. We'll kick off the second half, shooting from left to right this time. A clean sheet's probably too much to ask for, but just get the three points, boys. Highlight now, we're high up the pitch, Alberto Grassi on the edge. David Carmona gets on the right-hand side, tries to get the ball in, but Liverpool will probably clear now, and they do have men coming forward. We've got men back, though, so hopefully we can keep our shape, try and keep your yeah, men marked. But Bernard's in the box, takes... See, we're, they are struggling with these long shots, really struggling. Corner for us, Aaron plays it in, out by Lovren, and Naby Keita is going to break for Liverpool. Oh, my God, they've got an absolute swarm of red shirts on his right-hand side, and Vid Belich... What a save that was. Emre Chan should have got a goal for Liverpool there. That was a hell of a save. Bernard Salah. Oh my God. How have they not scored? How? Another corner for us. Aaron plays it in. Udakai gets his head on it. But this time he kind of get it on target. Honestly, I didn't think I've ever had a game with these many highlights. 52 minutes in now and I feel like I've done two games. And Mohamed Salah gets in behind the bat line. Good, uh, good pass by Miranchuk. And unfortunately, Liverpool get the lifeline they do deserve. 
A great ball by Miranchuk here, finds the space for Mohamed Salah. Great first touch. Belic could probably do a little bit better, but you cannot complain with his performance so far in this game. 57 minutes in now. Hopefully, hopefully we can hang on, but they have just brought in world-class midfielder Luka Modric. <laughs> Hold on. They have just took off Joe Gomez and brought on a striker. What have they done in terms of their formation? They're still the same formation, so I'm not sure who Bobby Firmino came off for. 72 minutes in, I'm going to make some changes, try and freshen things up. Kevin Enderham has been a rock, but we're going to get him off of Vidaska. Francisco Trinko for Alex Moreno. And we'll get Gyro off of Vignardo, just to, just to keep the boys fresh. Ever since that goal, there hasn't been another highlight. And just as I say that, they get a highlight. Luke Antnia picks out the pass, Vignato, we've got so many men, Fathy, can he get the ball back post, Vignato's there, big save by Rully, but Vignato <laughs> manages to get it in, I did bash my microphone there, I don't know if that got picked up, but excellent play by Luke Antnia to find the pocket of space of Vignato, and obviously they've just chucked everybody forward, so there's all sorts of space in the box, and Vignato gets his head on it, good save by Rully, but he gets it, second time of asking, makes it 4-1 Benevento, and we have just... We have just knocked Liverpool out of European competition, which is just amazing. 20 seconds remain in the match, and this looks like it will be the final highlight of the game. And we will be running out, at the very least, for, for two winners, but probably for one winners. And that's it full-time. Benevento 4, Liverpool 1 at Anfield. And to be fair, looking at the stats, yes, they did have a lot of opportunities, but we did see that a lot of them were from long range. So we, we definitely held our own. This wasn't just a complete FM job. We competed with Liverpool there. And we've got our just, just rewards. Well done boys. That was absolutely best performance of the season so far. Hands down. So unfortunately because of how poorly we played against Dynamo Kiev in the away tie. We did match them on points but they beat us on head to head. So we are finishing third. If we could only have got a bigger a home win or a draw away from home rather than the absolute smashing that we did get things might have been very different we might be going in the champions league knockout stages but europa league knockout stages for a team like ours is absolutely fantastic so next episode i'm going to be bringing you a triple header in the january transfer window i won't be live commenting them as extensively as i do previously because there will be three games and i don't want the video to be too long but obviously Army trans January transfer business will be contained within that one video. So we will get to the end of the transfer window. Unless it's passed in a game, then I won't. But hopefully, any business that we do do will be wrapped up in the Genoa, Udinese and Palermo game. Well, I did not expect that going away at Anfield. But a 4-1 win against them really is just testament to how well our players are improving. Because it is a really young squad. We haven't spent pretty much anything on it really in football terms so to beat a team that contains the likes of Roberto Firmino, Luka Modric and all the others is really really impressive. If you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you enjoy my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy.